If you've come across this video, it's more, more than likely that you know what Hyperfile is. If you don't, it's just a hibernation file that's used to store information when your computer goes into hibernation. If you don't use this feature, you can turn it off. Um, this application that I'm using here to see all the files and folders is called Space Sniffer. And to remove this big folder here that's taking up 9.5 gigs of my C drive storage, go to Start and type CMD. Then right click it and click Run as Administrator. Click Yes. If you don't do that, it won't work. Next, type power cfg space hyphen h off. Now, it may not show it here. Let's open up a Explorer window and I'll drag it off to this other screen. And if I go here, okay, it's not going to show there anyway. But once I hit enter, okay, it did work it goes away. You no longer see the space there and I'm sure if you look at the free space I just gained that amount of free space. So that's how to remove the hyperfile.sys if you do not use hibernation. So for example I'm using an SSD I don't put my computer into hibernation mode I only put it into sleep. This does not affect um, sleep mode, it doesn't affect anything else it's just the file that is in use when your computer goes into hibernation which really is only needed for older computers now. We don't often put them in hibernation anymore. It's only um, the older computers that do that. We only really put it into sleep and shut down. But if you want to put it back on, obviously power CFG space hyphen R on. Um, I'm assuming would work anyway, but I've got some more space now, which is very good for me. Thanks again for watching. If this helped you, please don't forget to thumb it up. Uh, comment down below what you thought of it. If you have any more questions for me, don't forget to ask them down in the comments as well or at ask or at toddstechtips.com forward slash ask. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page at Todd's Tech Tips. Have a good ah, have a good day, guys.